Welcome, viewers. If you seek adventure, let us travel back in time. Back to find Professor Klein. We can follow the professor by using this time tunnel that he left behind. It's a prototype that runs on hairspray and rubber bands. He doesn't really use it because he doesn't trust it much. The professor is looking for the Beale treasure to support the southern armies in the Civil War because they're running out of money. Also, he needs gold to fuel the time machine. Back, back, back in time we go. Back, back, back in time we go. This is Professor Klein. He built a time machine from a steel that took him from the present day back to the year 1864, where we are now. The professor created those green gookies to assist him. He calls them Mr. Slime. But to follow the story, you must realize that the professor first was sent back to prehistoric times. On his way to 1864, he picked up some unexpected riders, including a caveman called Biff, who is busy distracting Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Good. While Biff is distracting Bigfoot, I'll just sneak out the time machine. This is sort of humiliating, even for a caveman. What's going on around here? I'm feeling a might bit distracted. What's that smell? Kinda smells like caveman. Ain't smelled one of them in years. You'll notice that this is a ghost town. It used to be a mining town, but now it's a zombie town. A zombie ghost town. A ghost town overrun by zombies and dinosaurs. Aw, look at these little guys. Aren't they cute? Continuing on, we see something going on about the northern Yankees catching dinosaurs and using them against the southern gentlemen. Oh my goodness, it's a slime grinder! And look, one of the Mr. Slimes ended up a pile of goo in a bucket. Who could have done such a thing? The Battle of Natural Bridge was a battle the South scarcely knew happened and the North refuses to acknowledge. You see, people have a tendency to believe that Gettysburg was the turning point of the war, when in actuality, it was merely the Union's second chance. <clears throat> you see, the Union had a chance to end the war a year earlier. The battle barely involved Confederate armies. Who's this guy on the 1864 TV? We'll do a little more investigating and... Ah! More zombies! Uh, what is that in the door? Another Mr. Slime! Are you okay, buddy? Do you need medical assistance? You, you okay? Well, you know best. As we walk along, we see a cow. And a sign that says something about staring at a cow for protection against giant lizards. Are there more dinosaurs nearby? <laughs> Watch out for flying pigs. Bye, cow. <laughs> There are more zombies up ahead walking through what appears to be a large rib cage. Well, this proves where in 1864 there's a Union soldier surrounded by some of Professor Klein's dinosaurs. We'll keep our distance. He'll be he'll be alright. Oh, another dinosaur after this guy? What happened to its leg? Did that guy eat it? Good luck, you two. Walking down the pathway, walking down the pathway, hey, hey! Uh-oh, another Mr. Slime with a plunger that leads to a two-headed tortoise eating dynamite. Is the Mr. Slime trying to blow up the tortoise or the bridge? Mr. Tortoise, I would get out of here very quickly if I were you. That gooky slimy guy looks like he's up to no good. And what is that up there? I've got to hurry and get across this bridge. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, it's more soldiers surrounded by velociraptors. I can't blame them for wetting themselves, but they never should have tried to train these guys. Are you serious? Nope. I think I just let loose them both pant legs. We'll just be taking those legs, boys. Oh, look, it's Abraham Lincoln. It looks like that pterodactyl took something from him. It couldn't be the Gettysburg Address, could it? But Honest Abe is no pushover. He manages to lasso Squawk, but is yanked over the roof. Squawk! <coughs> Turn loose of my documents, you varmint. You know what? You don't see a boy milk a stegosaurus every day. We'll just quietly walk by. Somebody told that boy his hands are cold. Feed me, Mama! Is anybody out there? 
I'm looking for a couple of union boys. Uh, my back is powerful sore. <laughs> you, you're gonna get us both killed. Hey, what's all this stuff written all over the fence? Beware, the end is nigh. There were giants in the earth. Leviathan, the dragon that is in the sea. The behemoth, power in the muscles of his belly. Limbs like bars of iron. Ooh, sounds scary. Behold the great dragon that lies in the midst. These look like Bible verses referencing dinosaurs. Inside the small country church, Jackson kneels and begins to pray. Oh, Lord, help guide us through this valley of the shadow of death. Deliver us a miracle. Miracle? Like a, uh... Pretty winners, pretty winners, but I've got to see what's happening. Out there! Stonewall Jackson officially died May 10th, 1863. The mission for him to extract the Beale treasure buried deep beneath an unmarked grave was so vital that extreme measures were put in place to fake his death. Professor Klein equipped Jackson with a mechanical arm to dig for the treasure, but Jackson quickly learned he could also use the arm to defend himself against the Great White Beast. He's gonna fight a great big dinosaur with a mechanical arm? Cool! Jackson falls into the coffin where the treasure is hidden and quickly turns to fight Schmuck. Jackson makes his stand! was intense. Uh, uh, look at all these crazy signs. I'm not sure which way to go. What's that? I hear some sounds. I'll just follow the noise. Ah! Zombie! Uh-oh. One of these again. And so the dastardly Yankees hatched their scheme to ultimately use the dinosaurs as weapons of mass destruction against the southern armies. Their training is brutal. The dinosaurs are enslaved by the Yankees. Move them on. Hit them up. Hit them up. Move them on. Hit them up. Raw hide. Cut them out. Ride them in. Cut them out. Cut them out. Cut them out. Ride them in raw hide. You, get on down here. On the ground. Give me back my trousers, you yard ape. You fudge monkey. I'll get you for this. These Yankee boys have been stirring up trouble and they're sure getting a boatload of it back. Help! Somebody help! I, I, I'm sorry I took your egg! <laughs> Boy, that guy's in hysterics. I wonder what the chief is up to. Me see bad future for pale haired pale face. I wouldn't want to be him. <laughs> You ate my brother, you jerky snake, and now I'm here to do something about it. I'm gonna blow your head off. Whoa, let's get out of here. 
I got my dinosaur buddy all loaded up with weapons and I'm gonna get some ribs, oh yeah. Oh, bees! Oh boy, what's this coming up here? The big battle! Slime and blood mix, becoming a virtual slime theater. Very nasty. Nasty, very nasty. You see, uh, Bigfoot fighting with the caveman. And, and the guy getting his whole head shredded. And there's Jackson using his mechanical arm. And the kabooms. Ah, mayhem, the slime, the skeletons. Ah, this, 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 is, this is a nightmare. All over Yankees too. All of them is dead. We is slimes, Mr. Slimes. We won't suck till we all fit. Our sludge will slither up. Everybody, glory, glory, we will go to ya. Glory, glory, coming to ya. Glory, glory, we're in blue ya. Might just get dissolved. Al kaboom ya. Boom, boom. Boy, who are these two? You'd think they were partners or something. And what's with the paintbrush? Is he an artist? <laughs> but there is something awfully familiar. I got it! He looks like that guy telling the story about the Civil War and back in that town with all those zombies. I wonder if the professor knows him. Quickly, this way to the time tunnel. Ah! Another zombie! Back, back to where we came from. Back, back to where we came from. Let's hope the professor gets home too. Let's hope the professor gets home too. Looks like I made it back okay in one piece. What a rush. That was an amazing adventure. And you can have your own adventure too. Go and visit Mark Klein's Dinosaur Kingdom 2 in Natural Bridge, Virginia. And be sure to pick up a copy of this incredible comic book so you can follow along in the story. But remember, don't let the Mr. Slimes bite you or lick you or you'll look like this. Boom! Boom!